Okay, so our device already connected with uh, mobile and APP through the hotspot. Now in this video, I'm going to show you uh, to get a cloud service to function the iAlarm and the iTimer because the hotspot, it is not going to internet and without a clock, so they will not work. So firstly, we go to uh, here, the plus, and uh, check this one, Wi-Fi modify. And then we use choose this one it is a B three and choose our this is our Wi-Fi signal so we get it uh, connected M A T I S T M A T I S mm. okay now success. It shows success, but firstly, let's go back to see the here. Okay, now it's already changed. The Wi-Fi hotspot signal already disappeared. And let's come back to see uh, whether it is online or not. Even though it shows online, but actually, let's see. Oh, okay, or on. Okay, so already successfully connected with the uh, Wi-Fi. For this module, it has hotspot Wi-Fi and also the uh, Ethernet uh, RG45 connection. So now we are going to make a connection with the uh, internet. And uh, this one, the cable goes to the router. Okay, uh, and the router goes to the internet. So now here we are going to see what, how to get it connected. Uh, with the, the internet, you see, uh, firstly, the Wi-Fi lights, after it is uh, connect, uh, the cable connects to the RG45 communication module, and then you see the lightning is changing. Uh, UART, uh, Wi-Fi stopped uh, working, and uh, here, you see, here, uh, here you see the indicator, it is blinking, and you see it is uh, start working, and the Wi-Fi, it is shut down, these lights. Okay, so let's see whether it's already connected or not. Okay, so the Wi-Fi signal is already stopped uh, connection and uh, then we come to our APP and uh, here you see our device, it is still online. This so, means probably it's already connected, but let's try. Switch off, yes, you see? Okay, so now it means already connected through the internet. And all this timer and the timer and everything is uh, already worked it. So you see, this communication module, the hotspot, you need to join it. And then this uh, uh, Ethernet communication is very easy. Just plug in and waiting. What you need to do is just wait uh, it will automatically connect directly to the internet and to cloud and then the I alarm and uh, the timer will start to work perfectly with the cloud service support. Okay, so we have already set up these uh, 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 devices uh, connect to the Wi-Fi meters and uh, further connect to the internet and uh, get the cloud support. In order to better uh, show how does our function do it? So here we are going to show you in this demo box. It's the same uh, the system, power supply, RCBO, MCB1, and the communication module, or everything is the same. And this one is also already connected to the uh, Wi-Fi and the router. So here you see it is a uh, 4 to BC online. It's already connected. And then uh, let's see all of them. Okay, so firstly, we are going to introduce the eye timer. The timer is the one to choose. Uh, okay, I'm going to cancel, delete all of them. Uh, delete like this one. Choose, choose, choose. Uh, delete all. So firstly, we are going to set up a new timer. Eye timer to put a new one. Uh, once and at the time, we are going to choose. Now it's uh, five, five, five and a five. 
let's choose three minutes later okay five and uh, eight saves and uh, you will want it all switch off okay and the saves please choose the breakers choose all of them okay so saving all these tasks we want them to do here already done general line one and two switch off on uh, five and eight once okay so let's see later this i alarm okay for example now the voltage is 232 okay we are going to give it a, a high over voltage and let's see what will happen now it's a 300 300 and then it is flashing now so it will trip and then you see the alarm over voltage alarm and uh, the time it is uh, uh, november uh, for so just uh, a few minutes ago okay so anytime you know the problem when it is happened and what is exactly the uh, circuit fault and let's do again like uh, this one we are going to simulate an overload protection for example now the current is zero zero let's give the current 0 0.63 and a 65 now so okay it is chipped flashing means circuit fault and it is protected and then you see the alarm power alarm so it means the over and you know which line line one power off okay so you know exactly problem happens here and let's do the other one arc okay so it is also chipped flashing means the problem and uh, okay so here you see sparks alarm and you know the time exactly uh, three uh, three minutes ago and the land land two and it is power off because of this okay so you know when and what is happening when and uh, which and uh, what is happening in this circuit of fault and uh, we can also do this one the earth leakage here is now zero milliamps zero milliamps now and uh, we are going to simulate uh, 15 milliamps here you see it is 16 okay so you always read uh, the data in real time and then we add another three milliamps okay now it's 18 here is 20 okay so we can read it and when we press this one it totally will be 21 it will trip right away okay tripped zero and then let's see the alarm message okay so leakage alarm the time the problem and the which this is the general alarm so the general alarm so you know all this exactly very well let's do it again here okay now switch on trip okay so okay you the same and then let's finish this one give an overload okay overload protection let's see strip protect and then you get the eye alarm here come on come on come on okay so power alarm you know the time the line all of them and then so all these problems happen here you have the history record alarm logger so you know the time okay 446 and uh, all these problems happen earth leakage there and everything there okay sparks and you can delete for example some of them whatever you want okay yeah and also this is i leakage tester it is a to solve the problem of remotely uh, monthly test of the earth leakage so for, for example here we're going to show you so you can do it manually so this part is i leak i leakage test it's to solve the traditional circuit breaker test monthly uh, perfectly because our irsbo it can do uh, remotely auto test and also you can schedule the time for example now what we are going to do okay start okay your trip wait success and then it will auto reclose so 
You can also schedule the time every second of each month. And the time is, uh, for example, early morning, 2.30, saves. Okay, so every second day of each month, the time is 2.33 in the early morning. It will do this auto remotely uh, test, earth leakage test. Okay, so overload. Two trip. Then we come to here. Ah, okay. So it's power alarm, you know that. And just now, all switch off because the time is uh, five and eight it is a timer already functions so five eight switch all of them so you know the timer is functions okay.